that economy is not operating at a fuller level right so in this case what we can say that we can say that the economy is not at full employment so there is a loss of output if for example even 1 million people are unemployed in economy so means what if these people would have contributed in the economy so that our GDP the gross domestic product would have increased to a certain level right now these people are not finding any jobs so they are not contributing so they when they are not contributing so means overall production is less than the desired level secondly loss of human capital it's obvious when the when uh, you see everybody is having every human being has certain amount of capital capital he means intellectual capital they have a certain physical or mental capability to do work but what if these people are not engaged in working so their mental and physical capacity deteriorate means depreciate uh, they lose this capital with the vast passage of time means whatever I can do right now with a with being normal person physically and mentally fit if I am not being given a job for a long period of time so because of stress anxiety depression and uh, you can say despondency I might lose my physical and mental abilities to work so this capital is lost so it's because if there's any in if even there is one person who is unemployed so that is a huge loss for the government right you see because now if uh, if he is if his capital is not utilized so he or she may lose his capital right with the passage of time increasing inequalities and distribution of the income obviously those people who are rich so they are having businesses they are growing or they are doing jobs so their income will grow and those who don't have the job they will further their situation will get worse so the gap between rich and the poor will increase social cost is uh, can be defined or explained in various ways uh, like you can say people those who don't find job they may go in criminal activities they may be getting drug addicted or they may be like they can cause anything you see they, they can they, they can create so many kind of law and order situations and thefts and stealing and killing and you see so all that is a social cause they can harm the society in any way right because they don't find money for their basic needs so they will go for anything whether legal or illegal uh, whatever right so all the crime uh, uh, so most of the cr uh, criminal activities uh, have one common reason that uh, they, they that is because of the poverty right or because of the loss of uh, um, income and the na last point here mentioned is increased burden of welfare payments so in developed countries we see that there are various kind of programs unemployment allowances and welfare allowances and you can see so um, these kind of uh, then if there's unemployment the so government have to pay a uh, huge amount of money every year uh, and then they have to allocate a lot of money in their budgets uh, to accommodate these kind of people who are unemployed and especially uh, the old age people so for these kind of welfare expenses uh, it's a burden on the government so it's better to provide uh, or you can say opportunities uh, to the people so that they can do something at least and they are employed rather than unemployed so here are the various types of unemployment structural seasonal frictional cyclical and technological we'll see quickly it's very simple we can explain it structural unemployment is that when there's a change in the structure in the economy so people with a certain amount of skills uh, may not find a job because now they are not fit for the new kind of structure right so you see let's suppose people from agriculture to industry so they might face problem because they don't have the capacity or skills uh, to work in industry and similarly change the structure of the industry sometimes within industry the structure have been changed so the people with the obsolete skills are not uh, you can say no more in used by the organization so there are a lot of structural changes sometimes industry there are downsizing right sizing restructuring so that all ultimately leads to some uh, you can say uh, loss of jobs right so these such kind of people then don't find the job so such kind of unemployment is called as structural unemployment seasonal is very simple uh, some factories are offering jobs at seasonal basis summer season spring season you see winter season Christmas season etc right so when season is off so these people come factories are shut down or lower down their production so ultimately few people are laid off so that is called as seasonal unemployment uh, frictional unemployment is mean people when they are switching job from one person one company to another so between that time period they are temporarily out of work uh, 
and uh, or let's suppose any comp any employees uh, laid off or terminated or resigned from the company so uh, so in that case he or she might be uh, now looking for the new job so it may take one week two week one month two months or few from a certain time of period so that for that time period this person is called as frictionally unemployed person right sometimes companies want to transfer you to another branch and you don't want to shift so in all this also may lead to a frictional unemployment cyclical unemployment is because of this recession and depression as i explained in the trade cycle that when there's a recession so there is a cut down in the aggregate demand so companies produce less to meet the uh, reduced demand so to produce less they need less number of people hence they lay off some people uh, they design terminate some uh, um, employees so such unemployment is called as cyclical unemployment technological is very simple due to automation and robotics and all these kind of met, uh, latest upgraded technology and now machines are replacing human beings especially in terms of hard skills so ultimately we'll say that this is uh, such kind of unemployment is because of technology here are the causes of unemployment is very simple sometime increase in population uh, lead to unemployment rural urban migration people are coming from rural areas to urban so they don't find job that leads to unemployment downsizing as explained earlier lack of capital there are so many people who uh, who have the capa uh, capacity uh, to uh, to be an entrepreneur but they don't have the capital sufficient amount of money so they cannot run the business so or it sometimes companies don't find more capital so they cannot expand their business so in that case uh, they cannot generate more job opportunities and hence leads to unemployment lack of credit facilities government uh, sometimes provide credit facility but in less developing countries uh, it's at very hard terms so because of that lack of credit facilities uh, some companies can uh, uh, some companies cannot operate at optimum level or they cannot expand their business or even individuals who want to do some business they don't find credit and they don't have money so they cannot even get access to credit uh, from the banks or financial institutions so again they are uh, they remain unemployment seasonal variations uh, as i explained earlier um, sometimes see when season is off so companies are shut down so they mm, people are laid off technological advancement is another reason as we explained earlier lack of skill and work experience very important we people are having education we are focusing on the education but we are not focusing on the skills so entrepreneurs and the businessman the industrialist needs skilled base worker right and he need or she needs experience so the point is that we um, people uh, do have degrees but they don't have education uh, they don't so they don't have experience and they don't have relevant skills uh, to perform their jobs because of which they are not getting uh, the desired level of job and lack of education you see sometimes even people don't have education uh, a country especially less developing countries overall if we see so there are most of the countries they have even less than 50 percent literacy rate so the if your workforce is less than 50 percent rate so they are uneducated and unskilled so how you can accommodate them at the most they may become somewhere a labor but they cannot get a higher job right and labors are uh, already uh, you can say uh, mostly uh, replaced by the machines right so hard skills are replaced by the machine so there are less jobs for the laser and secondly those who are even got the degrees that the degrees the education is an obsolete right uh, education most of the cases so again the latest education is not relevant to the employment uh required by the entrepreneurs right so such skill such education level is also required for them right so i think this is enough for today next uh, topic we will discuss inshallah in the next uh, video uh, and uh, hope you guys got the concept if there is any question confusion query you can write to me you have my email address at the very first slide you have the cell number and i hope you got the concept if there is anything you can discuss share and ask right so wish you all the best thank you very much take care and see you next time